family, friends, faculty, staff, and most important, the graduates today, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2012 commencement exercises at Antioch University, New England. It would be an understatement to stay, say that this is a big day. Good day, everyone. It's such a pleasure to see you here today, especially the group uh, dressed in glorious black in front of me. Uh, you're marvelous. We think so much of you, and uh, we're so proud of you, and we vest the future of the mission of our institution in you and the accomplishments that you will make uh, throughout your career. Now, uh, we have alumni who live in 49 of the 50 states in this country. And there's one state we don't have an alum in, so it's North Dakota. <laughs> so you can think during the ceremony and decide which of you is going to volunteer to move there. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming Jan Morgan. Well, thank you very much uh, for that warm welcome. Um, and I do send heartfelt congratulations uh, from my fellow Board of Governors. Uh, everyone is very, very proud uh, at the Board of Governors of this particular class. And I can tell you that I have read through almost all of your CVs. Uh, I was sent uh, uh, quite a bit of information. And uh, I just wanted to say that the graduates here appear to me uh, to be determined courageous, focused, innovative, uh, healers in a variety of ways, uh, mind, spirit, uh, heal healers of the environment, uh, and healers of business now and in the future. It's my distinct pleasure to welcome you to the commencement on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Antioch University of New England. Commencement is certainly a ceremony at which academic degrees are awarded it's also a new beginning. From the trustees' point of view, it represents the fulfillment of a commitment made by extraordinary people who are dedicated to ensuring the success of each other. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good and congratulations, graduates. Way to go. I'm one of the luckiest speakers up here today because I can make you an offer that you can't refuse, or at least shouldn't refuse. And I'm given like two or three minutes to do this in, so good luck to us all. You have to listen as fast as I speak. But before I begin, I need your help. Spend the next 10 seconds, graduates, 10 seconds bringing to mind someone who was really important in this really tough journey that resulted in your being here today. 10 seconds to picture in your active memory, your active mind, someone who's really been important. Five minutes after leaving here today, I want you to contact that person somehow and say to that person how important they were for you. Now, you've already done that a dozen times, but do it again five minutes after you leave today. Five hours after you leave today, this afternoon, do it again. Five weeks from now, that's June 16th, I want you to contact that person somehow with some written message. All right, text. <laughs> and do it again. Five months from now, yes, that's October 16th, do it again. And five years from now, May 12th, 2017, call that person. So this is the 25th anniversary of the graduation pledge, which is a, a commitment that over 200,000 students have taken to promote sustainability, environmental and social sustainability um, in the world around them as they go forward from this day. So we join those 200,000 students today. And I think that Antioch really stands out in this regard. Um, not only is social and environmental sustainability a part of our institution's mission 
And you can see that in so many ways, from what we're learning in our classes to the cap and gown donation program that's happening today. So you can donate in the cafeteria after today. Um, but more importantly than that, we see it in the strength of the relationships and the community that we're a part of here. I am very pleased uh, to introduce our commencement speaker, uh, Rinku Sen. Um, and I know that there's a little biog of her uh, in, in your uh, program. Um, <clears throat> but it, it really only touches the surface of uh, her life. Uh, she's an extraordinary person. Good morning. It is an enormous honor to be here with you today. Congratulations to all of the graduates. Uh, to the faculty and staff of the call of the university and also to all of your families it it definitely takes a village to get somebody through college so uh, all of you deserve enormous uh, each other's gratitude I want to talk to you about the story that has been told about race and racism in this country the story that has developed particularly over the last 50 years or so Will all candidates for the 2012 degree of Master of Arts please rise? <laughs> President Caruso, I have the honor to present the individuals who have completed the master's requirements for graduation from Antioch University, New England and are recommended for the degree Master of Arts. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Antioch University and the Board of Trustees of Antioch University, New England, I confer upon you the degree of Master of Arts with all of the rights, honors, and privileges pertaining thereto. Will all 2012 candidates for the Master of Education degree please rise? President Caruso, I have the honor to present the individuals who have completed the master's requirements for graduation from Antioch University, New England, and are recommended for the degree Masters of Education. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Antioch University and the Board of Trustees of Antioch University, New England, I confer upon you the degree Master of Education with all the rights, honors, and privileges pertaining thereto. Will all 2012 candidates for the Master of Business Administration degree please rise? President Caruso, I have the honor to present the individuals who have completed the master's requirements for graduation from Antioch University, New England, and are recommended for the degree Master of Business Administration. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Governors of Antioch University and the Board of Trustees of Antioch University, New England, I confer upon you the, master, the degree Master of Business Administration with all of the rights, honors, and privileges pertaining thereto. Well, the sun is slowly sinking down And the moon is slowly rising And this old world must still be spinning going to go off script for a second. <laughs> this was left under my chair. Last year it was a plastic bottle. I want to personally thank 
Dr. David Caruso, Abigail Abrash Walton, Tracy Thompson, but more importantly, the students in the ES department that advocated for removing plastic from all the public events of this institution. Will all the 212 candidates for the Masters of Science degrees please rise? <laughs> President Caruso, I have the honor to present the individuals who have completed the Masters requirements for graduation from Antioch University, New England, and are recommended for the degree Masters of Science. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Antioch University and the Board of Trustees of Antioch University, New England, I confer upon you the degree Master of Science with all the rights, honors, and privileges pertaining thereto. We've now reached the part of our program where we will reward the doctoral degrees to this year's graduating students. This is a very special moment for us and it is certainly a very, very special moment for them. Will the 2012 candidates for the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Studies please rise? <laughs> President Caruso, I have the honor to present the individuals who have completed the doctoral requirements for graduation from Antioch University, New England, and are recommended for the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Studies. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Antioch University and the Board of Trustees of Antioch University, New England, I confer upon you the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Studies with all of the rights, honors, and privileges pertaining thereto. Will all 2011 candidates for the degree Doctor of Psychology in Clinical Psychology please rise? <laughs> President Caruso, I have the honor to present the individuals who have completed the doctoral requirements for graduation from Antioch University, New England, and are recommended for the degree Doctor of Psychology in Clinical Psychology. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Antioch University and the Board of Trustees of Antioch University, New England, I I confer upon you the degree Doctor of Psychology in Clinical Psychology with all of the rights, honors, and privileges pertaining thereto. Well, you came a few years ago to our campus for graduate study as people with an undergraduate degree seeking an advanced degree. I imagine you probably thought of yourselves as students at that time. Um, during these intervening years, you've become junior colleagues of our faculty. And I know that understanding of you changed in their mind. I'm not sure exactly which day it might have dawned on you that you shouldn't really think of yourself as a student any longer, even though your degree hadn't been conferred. And at the end of your work, you're now a graduate, you're our colleagues, and our peers. And you have a responsibility, a special one, of carrying the mission and vision and purpose of this institution into the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.